I'm Rich from Kotick, and today we're going to show you how to unbox, set up, and maintain your Kotick Escapade. You're going to need a 4mm and a 5mm Allen key, and depending on your pedals, a 6 or an 8mm Allen key. Also, you need a pump. In your box, you'll find some pedals, if you've ordered any, and your Kotick general user manual. Inside that, you'll find a flyer for the Kotick CC, of which you're now a member. If you get the wheel out first, followed by the bike. If you've got a bike stand, now's a good time to use it. Otherwise, you could lean the bike against a wall to assemble it. So slide the forks out of the cardboard axle stand and remove the through axle. Once you've slid the front wheel into place, reinstall the axle and then get your 5mm Allen key and torque the axle up nice and tight. Remove the cardboard handlebar holder and then with your 4mm Allen key take the faceplate off the stem. Line up the handlebars on the stem using the guides printed on the bars and then make sure that the cables haven't got twisted. Set the bars at the correct angle. This is why we've put the front wheel in already, so you can get it right the first time. Tighten the bolts equally in this pattern. Get the last bit of cardboard off. Safely grab your scissors and cut the zip tie off on the left hand crank arm. Grease up your pedal axles. Get the correct spanner to attach your pedals and then torque them up to FT. I know you know this, but the left-hand pedal has a left-hand thread, okay? Tyres next. Sometimes tyres go a little bit soft in transit, especially tubeless ones, so make sure they're the correct pressure for you to ride before you set off. Don't forget your valve caps. You'll need your 4mm Allen key to get your saddle at the correct height. And go around and check that your axles are tight, whether bolt through or quick release, depending on the age of your frame. And then check your calipers are tight front and back, and check your stem bolts are tight as well, then your levers, and you're good to go. After a while your bike is going to get filthy, so here's a few tips to keep it clean and running perfectly. When you're washing your bike, don't go crazy with chemicals. A little bit of washing up liquid in some water is fine and a good biodegradable citrus degreaser is perfect for everything else like chain and cassette. If you're commuting a lot, your bike is going to get filthy and road grime is the worst. The best way to get your bike clean is to use a bit of elbow grease. Oh, and one of these magic chain cleaning tools. You just fill it to the right level with your degreaser, clip it together, and then run your chain through it a few times and it'll loosen off all of the grime and dirt, make it easy to rinse off. All the little bits of dirt and grime stuck in the oil inside your chain are what's going to wear it to bits. So cleaning those out is going to give your chain much longer life. And to be honest, who wouldn't want a longer life? Now give it a good rinse. And here's the top tip that most people forget dry it off after you've rinsed it. Now there's a million ways to lube your chain, but this is the way that seems to work for us. So find the split link or the connecting pin or some marker that will show you where the start is. Then with a towel underneath to catch any excess, drip the lubricant on that section of chain that you can get to and then wipe it off with a towel before moving on to the next section. This way it keeps your cogs clean and you're not constantly putting lots and lots of excess lube on your cassette and chain rings. We're getting there. This next bit is to illustrate the common problems that might occur after riding your bike for a while. If you haven't got the confidence to identify or fix any of these issues, then take your bike to a local repair shop. So you want to check your tyre for wear, check for flat spots or bulges in the sidewall, any rips or cuts, and then replace if needs be. This one's a little bit flat, but it's got some more life left in it yet. Again, check your calipers and brake pads and replace them if they're worn out. If they're rubbing, use these two bolts to adjust the caliper so it doesn't rub on the disc. 
Chain Checker is a brilliant, inexpensive tool to see how much wear you're getting out of your chain and when you should replace it. This one isn't quite at 0.75% of wear, so it's good for a little while yet. An obvious one to check is that you can change gear easily and your chain's not skipping around or missing out cogs. Again, if you're not confident adjusting these, take it to a shop. To check your headset's tight, pull the back brake, lift the wheel up, turn the bars 90 degrees and give it a little shake. And you'll be able to tell if there's any wobbling coming from the headset. Check all your spokes as well and make sure there are no random loose ones. And see that your wheel runs true and straight. So that's a basic list of what to look for when maintaining your Kotick Escapade. If you're keen to learn more, we suggest you start with sheldonbrown.com. It's a pretty comprehensive look at almost every aspect of bicycle maintenance. You can contact us on email with any other questions and there's always your local bike shop if you need a professional to look over it.